Oui, oui, bien sûr. Uh. <laughs> What is your favorite expression in Serbian? Ai de vrai. Ah. <laughs> e qual é a sua palavra preferida ah. em português? Do de barriga. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Anna and I'm from Brazil. Hi, my name is Draga and I come from Serbia. I can speak Portuguese, of course, also English, as you can see. Uh, I speak French, Korean, German and Spanish as well. I'll put that in. How about you? So obviously I speak Serbian because my parents are Serbian. Then I speak German, French, English, Spanish and Korean. But we're also learning each other's languages yeah. these days. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Hi. 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 Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. How did you learn English? <laughs> Actually, we we had English in school, of course, but I wasn't really good at English until I started going to like English summer camps mm. in the UK. I also moved to the UK to study. So mm -hmm. I went to university there. I finished uh, my bachelor. And then over the course of the years, I guess I just switched back to American because that's the kind of like videos I consume online or I don't know, that's just the, the accent I hear the most. Yeah. And I feel like it's easier to fake an American accent than it is to fake a British one. For sure. Yeah, when you speak with a fake British accent, it just sounds so off and I don't want to sound like weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I see. What about you? I think I started learning English when I was young too. Um, I remember that I was really into Hannah Montana back then <laughs> and the episodes were not coming out on TV so I just went on the computer but of course they didn't have subtitles so I was just like watching those without subtitles. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is the best way to learn. Though. It is. Mm -hmm. Like I just really like the show. And then after that of course I learned it in school as well and since I lived abroad I kind of had to use it like to communicate because I didn't necessarily know the, the country's languages, which was the case for Greece. Mm. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> so how useful has it been for you to speak English, like I mean, overall? <laughs> it's been life changing, I would say, especially when you move around so much, it's necessary. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like the universal language. Mm -hmm. Even though, like, obviously there are certain languages that are spoken a lot in the world, I think English is like the most common one that mm -hmm. people use all around. Yeah. And, you know, when you don't know a certain language, you know that usually most of the time you'll be able to find someone that speaks English and you'll be able to communicate your way. For sure through any challenges exactly. that you might experience. Agreed, 100%. What about French? Ah, oui, oui, bien sûr. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Comment est-ce que tu as appris le français? Bah, comme j'ai dit avant, quand j'étais petite, euh, j'ai vécu euh, à l'extérieur. J'ai vécu en... Euh, tout d'abord, euh, j'ai vécu en Grèce. Et je suis allée à un, à un lycée français. Donc c'est là-bas que j'ai commencé à apprendre le français. Et puis on s'est déménagé en Suisse et je à la partie française donc j'ai continué à apprendre le français là-bas. Ah, et toi ouais. Bah moi aussi je suis allée dans un lycée français <rire> depuis la maternelle jusqu'au bac donc euh, j'ai fait toute mon éducation en français en fait. Et puis oui en fait j'ai jamais vécu en France j'étais j'ai seulement fait mon lycée et puis voilà je l'ai appris à l'école. Et c'est pour ça que tu as un accent parfait en français. Oui, mais c'est parce que aussi j'ai commencé vraiment depuis que je suis petite, depuis que j'avais, je, je pense, 5 ans, mmh. quelque chose comme ça. Euh, moi, j'ai appris euh, que pendant quoi, 2 ans, 3 ans. Bah. Et puis, puis c'est ça, et puis je suis euh, retournée je au ça, Brésil. C'est beaucoup plus impressionnant <rire> parce que tu l'as appris dans 2-3 ans. Moi, je l'ai appris euh, pendant beaucoup d'années. Et comme j'ai pas beaucoup d'amis français, en fait, euh, je l'utilise presque pas du tout, en fait. Ouais. Ça, c'est mon problème parce ouais. que j'ai beaucoup oublié. J'ai l'impression que... Si tu pratiques pas, tu ouais. t'oublies. Ouais. C'est pas facile. C'est mon problème aussi. Je n'ai pas vraiment de, de amis français maintenant, donc euh, je n'ai pas l'opportunité de pratiquer. Ouais. Et l'espagnol, comment l'apprendiste <rire> Yo he vivido en el exterior, pero cuando yo um, volví, uh, en Brasil es normal aprender el español en la escuela. Uh -huh. Por eso aprendí el español durante seis meses, un año, pero eso no, no hablo muy bien. Pero comprendo muy bien, es muy parecido. Pero lo hablas muy bien. <risa> nunca, <risa> nunca te he escuchado hablar <risa> español no, y no, es no. muy impresionante, de verdad. Muchas gracias. <risa> ¿Y tú cómo aprendiste? Yo lo aprendí, bueno, 
Empecé a aprender el español en mi escuela secundaria, pero esto fue como dos horas al día o algo así. He hecho un intercambio, así que sí, cuando estudié en la Complutense de Madrid, uh -huh. ahí, ahí lo aprendí muy bien. Y también tuve un, un novio boliviano <risa> que no hablaba ninguna palabra de inglés, claro. así que lo aprendí bastante rápido, oh. <risa> gracias a él. <risa> ya. ¿Y piensas que, que estuve más fácil para ti de aprender el español porque hablas el portugués? Sí, sí, yo creo que es, muy, es más fácil porque como es muy parecido, sí. es muy similar, porque es muy parecido, uh -huh. aunque no lo hablas muy bien, lo puedes aprender fácilmente. Y bueno. comprender fácilmente. Sí, me lo imagino porque yo cuando hablaba de francés, creo que eso me ayudó bastante para aprender el español. Ah, sí, sí. Y ahora porque hablo el español y el francés, aprendí italiano mucho más fácilmente. Es que no, no, lo, no lo hablo muy bien, sí, pero sí. lo entiendo casi perfectamente. Yo también pero puedo lo comprender fácilmente. Mm. Y el portugués también. Ahora sí. lo estoy aprendiendo. <risa> Muy bien. Estamos sí. 지금 한국어로 얘기해 볼까? 어떻게 배웠어? 한국 문화 관심이 있어서 한국어를 배우고 싶어서 그냥 한국에 왔고 여기서 와학당 다니다가 사람들이 얘기하면서 그냥 한국어 배웠어. 너는? 원래는 어 저도 어학당 다녀왔는데 친구랑 얘기 하다가 배운 거예요. 우리도 지금 한국에 근데... 살고 있어서 어, 배워야지. <웃음> 맞아. 그런 거 같다. 어. 어, 당연하지. 왜냐하면 뭐 우리 다 약간 유럽 언어 잘 알잖아. 근데 한국어 너무 달랐어. 맞아, 맞아. 그 네. 단어 단어들이 비슷한 점이 없고. 맞아. 문법도 포르투갈어랑 진짜 달라요. 자연스럽게 배울 수 없, 없는 것 같아. 인정. 응. 많이 공부하고 연습하고 그렇게 배울 수 있는데 이렇게 자연스럽게 배우는 거 아닌 것 같아. 그리고 제가 원래 공부 잘 못해서 음... 어려워. 아, 그래. 아, 공부 잘 못해. 아, 그래서 어려워. 솔직히 나도 좀 그냥 친구들이랑 치, 맞아. 친구, 친구만 하고 그냥 맞아. 연습하고 이렇게 그냥 자연스럽게 아니, 배, 배우고 싶었는데 약간, 약간 한국에 좀... 와서 아 이거 너무 어려운데 아, 이렇게 생각했어 <웃음> 그럼 한국어 왜 배우게 됐어? 직업 때문에 <웃음> 저 배우잖아 그래서 음. 한국에 살고 싶으면 은 한국어 해야지 매력적인 부분이 있어? 알고 있었던 단어랑 달라서 그건 매력이에요. 음. 그리고 내 생각에는 발음이 또 약간 음. 시, 신기한 맞아. 느낌이 나. 세르비아 발음이 조금 비슷해. 아이유 <웃음> 어, 같은 아, 거. 아이유 조금 비슷하고. 어 비슷해. So let's move on to German now. Ooh, the most feared one. Are you ready? <웃음> <laughs> I'm gonna have to like dig in my brain. <laughs> you can do it, you can do it. Let's go. I believe in you. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Wie geht es dir? Mir geht's gut. Wie geht's dir? Gut, gut. Sag mal, wie hast du denn Deutsch gelernt? Als ich zwölf Jahre war, habe ich Deutsch angefangen zu lernen, mhm. weil ich in der Schweiz gelebt habe. Ah, okay. Mhm. Wo in der Schweiz? Ich habe in äh, einer kleinen Stadt, La Tourdope, gelebt. Ich war zwei Jahre lang in der Schweiz und dann bin ich nach Brasilien zurückgezogen. Mhm. Mhm. In Brasilien bin ich in eine deutsche Schule gegangen und dann habe ich einen Austausch in Deutschland gemacht. Ah, cool. Aber ich finde es voll süß, weil das so den französischen Akzent, ah. wenn du Deutsch redest. Es ist so, so, <lacht> es ist so cute, ich liebe es. <lacht> Und du? Ja, ähm, ich eigentlich, also obwohl meine Eltern ursprünglich aus Serbien sind, äh, bin ich in äh, Wien, in Österreich, geboren und aufgewachsen. Mhm. Und ja, ich spreche Deutsch, weil ich einfach dort mein ganzes Leben lang war. Also bis ich 17, 18 Jahre alt war. Mhm. Und dann bin ich nach England umgezogen, um dort zu, zu studieren. Aber ja, wow. ich spreche halt Deutsch. 
really well. <laughs> and what about Portuguese? Can you understand Portuguese? Maybe a little bit. I feel like it can. I feel like Spanish really helps you. Yeah, it does. And the French too. And yeah, like yeah. a little bit of the Italian that I know as well. Like yeah. all of these, you know, help me connect. Do you want to so introduce you yourself in Portuguese? Ooh. Okay. Oi. Eu me chamo Draga. Estou uhum. <risos> aprendendo português porque moro com uma amiga brasileira. Eu. <risos> oh. <That's it. risos> e qual é a sua palavra preferida em ah, português? Dor de barriga. <risos> <risos> yeah, I, I understand quite a bit, but. I, I still have yet to actually sit down and learn a little bit. Yeah, but you definitely understand a lot because yeah, when I'm speaking to my Brazilian friends, she understands everything. This year, I'm surrounded by Brazilians. Yeah. Like the whole year, everyone's just speaking Portuguese, Portuguese <laughs> in my, in, in my, into my ear. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's definitely helping. Yeah. So, uh, how about you? Do you know a little bit of Serbian? I'm trying to learn a little bit. Zdravo. Hey, zdravo. <laughs> Kako se zoveš? Ja se zovem Ana. Oh, okay. Do you know anything else? What is your favorite expression in Serbian? Ai dobre. Ah! <laughs> I think the Serbian people are really gonna love it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I actually speak Serbian. Yeah. Mislim da svi znaju da pričam srpski zato što sam ovdje već bila nekoliko puta da predstavim Srbiju. Moji roditelji su iz Srbije, tako da eto. Challenging. Oh my goodness. Like we were nervous coming into this because I was like, oh, I gotta I, I don't wanna make a fool out of myself, even yeah. though I know the languages, but some sometimes when you speak all of the language at at once, like your brain, your brain just starts just to like go into panic like I don't know it's yeah, it overdrive. Bugs. <laughs> it just goes into overdrive. Difficult. The first because a lot of these languages I don't practice anymore. Mm. So I forgot like, you know, like German and Spanish, I don't practice them anymore. So I pretty much forgot all about it. And I feel, I don't know, for some reason, I have like a couple of languages that they kind of take over each other. So for example, Spanish, I can think of French. It's a little bit of a mix in my head. Right. And then when you have to keep switching back and forth, it's like, wow, okay, brain exercise. Yeah, I have the same thing between like Korean and Spanish because those are like the last two languages mm -hmm. I learned. I feel like that happens sometimes when I'm like speaking Portuguese and, and English too. Right. Not because I mix them or anything, but if I keep switching back and forth, I right. sometimes I speak to you in Portuguese and I'm like, oh, oh, wait, wait. Yeah, wait a that second. happens a lot. <laughs> you know how so certain people say, oh, you know, when they drink alcohol, they get better at speaking the language. For me, it's the opposite. Like, yeah, it gets it just all mumble. <laughs> yeah, it, got, yeah, it literally <laughs> is like a big like mumble jumble. Using whatever word comes to my mind first, exactly. and then it makes no sense. <laughs> Especially if you're in an environment where you speak with multiple people like in different languages yeah oh no oh, oh no. no oh no because my brain tries to like understand all of them and then i'm like i'm not understanding anything right so today we try to speak in six different languages if you like the video please like and subscribe and leave us a little comment down below we'll see you soon bye, bye. <laughs>